record that. Okay. Seeing, seeing the presence of a quorum, I'm going to call the July 12, 2023 Governance Organization and Legislation Committee uh, to order. Uh, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, extended by Chapter 22 and 107 of the Acts of 2022, and extended by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted by, via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No, per, uh, no in-person attendance of the members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Pat can't speak, it's too early in the morning. Um, I'm going to call um, the roll to make sure everyone can uh, be heard. And uh, let me see, Lynn Griesmer, you're muted, Lynn. But I am present, thank you. <laughs> Andy Joe. Present. And Jennifer Taub. Present. Yeah, uh, Councillor Miller is absent. Um, we have a very short meeting because we did not receive uh, the material from KP Law. Um, so we're. I, what I want to do is have a very brief check-in about the flag policy and the uh, policy regarding control and regulation of the public ways. We're bringing it back to the council meeting for the second reading and a vote. And I just want to make sure that if anybody feels like there was anything that we need to be able to address on Monday. I don't think there was, but I just wanted to check. Seemed like it was going pretty smoothly. Neither one, uh, neither that nor the uh, public way had any serious conversation, if any at all. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Okay. okay. And in um, fact, we may put them on the consent agenda. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, the other thing is I would like to call for a public comment period right now so that we can get to work after that. There's um, nobody. But, There's but, nobody but seeing. Sorry, hang on. Um, the, in Sorry, to go back to public ways, for, yes. lo for long-term closures under, so it's 3C1, it says request for re the clean version says hang on I'll, sh I'll share this it says for requests for seasonal sidewalk closures or road closures da, 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 with the monthly report to the town council it doesn't say the town council delegates to the town manager authority to review and act mm -hmm. on we haven't even looked at that oh it should that must have been yeah. some sort of track changes error It looks like, yeah, someone it, it was, changed. It was removed for some reason. Okay. So, um, oh, thank you, Athena. So where, oh, where would you see too that it should be its that's underlined in blue? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so we C1, we just have that. to reject the removal. Yeah. Okay. Can we do that? Let's do that now and get it back in and then bring the clean copy to the council. Did you have another one, Athena? Um, sorry, it was only in my head and not. <laughs> but I have your email, so I'm going to pull up your email that I never responded to. I think it was mm -hmm. 2B2. You. you said something about all other requests. Right. So. If you want to put in for all other requests. I think. Can you pull that back up? Oh, 
I'm looking at it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think that should say for all other requests. Yeah. Oh, good thing. The needs to be not capitalized. Yeah. Right. Good catch as Athena. Yeah, really. Thank you very much. So now how are we going to show these changes to in the packet? Um, I still have the track change version. Okay. All right. I think think we can just say that there were some technical errors in the track change version that were just corrected that didn't change the meaning of anything. Right. Do we need to have another motion? Well, I guess we need to move to um, add. Need to recommend to the town council the amended version. Okay. I move that we recommend to the town council the amended version of somebody has to fill in the bylaw number. That is the town council policy regarding controlling regulation. Is there a second? Yeah, second. Okay. And let's vote. Lynn? Aye. Mandy? Aye. Jennifer? Aye. And I'm an aye. So it's unanimous with one absent. I guess it can't be a four four aye. Okay. So I'm glad I brought that up. Um, And because the we don't have the legal review, we're not going to be looking at the zoning revisions. So basically what we have to look at today is the bylaws uh, for future consideration that have been carried and carried and carried. I did not receive, I had sent an email to Paul and I have not received an update on his July update. Uh, Hopefully there'll be something in the packet uh, for the 19th. Um, What I'd like to do is go through the bylaws and just, there are just a few uh, and I'd like to make motions so that this can get move forward you know, away from us and um, off our agendas. So uh, do, does everybody have that? Or Athena, can you bring up the bylaws for future consideration that's in the packet? Two screens today, it's very frustrating. Okay, and ha- ha- yeah, we also, I called public comment, but we then sidestepped it. But since there was no no one in the public present, we do, you know, we ended public comment. Just want to make sure it's on the record. If everybody can pull, oh, there we go. No, that's the one, yeah. Uh, What I'd like you to do is to go to the bylaw, the new one that I put together unless I put the wrong one in the packet and we can go through it. Um, I think it's called July 2023 bylaw review update. Yeah, I think. I don't know oh, what I can hold it. I got it. Thank you. Though. Yeah, it's just a uh, a table. Do you want me to pull it up? I got it. Okay. Yes, thank you, Athena. Okay, Um, I'm just gonna go through it quickly. There are a couple that still need to be addressed and I'm gonna ask for um, more than just me to do that, but there aren't many. Uh, As you can see, there's uh, this um, bylaw 3.7 was reviewed by KP Law. I'm sorry, I don't have the date there. It was, and no action is needed on that. Uh, 3.2, it was replaced and repe- uh, repealed the Special Board of Appeals on the July 29th. Uh, so the first one where we need to take some kind of action is on the peaking and peering into a place of habitation. We need to get that. Uh, we need to make a recommendation to refer that to the council, um, back to the council and for referral to the appropriate committee. Uh, this is the drones issue. And I think TSO is probably the people that should look at that.
Hello. You guys didn't. Okay. Just some. Are you looking for a motion, Pat? Yes, I am. <laughs> I I will move to recommend the town council refer general bylaw 3.23 peeking and peering into the place of habitation um, to the town services and outreach committee um, for discussion and recommendation regarding the inclusion of drones is there a second second, second. great Jennifer has her hand up. Very technical, minor question. Um, Pat, you had said that we refer it to the council and then the council refers well, to Well, I don't the know. I, no. That, that, it, it should go, go back. I, I think we should take this list back to the council. And if there's things on this list, then they, that then go to other committees. These committees don't even know this thing exists. So right. I think it would be useful to do the whole thing and then have the motions for the committees. Maybe okay. just, they could be, uh, they could certainly be on consent agendas. Okay, Mandy? Yeah, so, you know, the motion I made was to refer, the council can decide whether to refer or not, um, but that would be how you get, I, I think that's how you get the discussion of whether to refer for potential changes on Jones onto the council agenda. Right. Um, so I would say a unanimous vote to re make that recommendation might be accompanied by a request not to put it on consent um, so right. that the council can really make its decision as to whether it wants to actually do the referral. I, I'd agree with that. Good. Okay. okay. So uh, do we need a motion for each of the things that we refer today? I, I believe we do. Yeah. You should act on, and then if there are other motions, then yeah. regarding the other ones, I think doing those one at a time makes sense. Okay. Um, and all right. So are, so we need to vote on that. Um, starting with Mandy Joe. Aye. Jennifer Taub. Um, yes. Lynn Griesmer. Aye. And I'm an aye. So that's four zero with one absent. Do I have to say that every time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. In terms of the regulations relating to animals, I did not get, I did not contact Carol Hepburn. I fell down on that part. But I did look up in Mass General Law because there are references to uh, the treatment of service animals in the, um, state laws and i'm wondering if that isn't enough i can still count i can still move forward uh and contact carol hepburn but it we'd literally just i think be picking up the reference to the um mass general law unless she you know unless there's something she wants to add or change pat what i would suggest is that if you uh since you've done that research that you insert and show her um, okay. the bylaw with the insertion, see okay. if she's fine with that, uh, and then bring it back to us for referral to the council. Okay. I think so that's, that's, one, that's that just one, what okay. that yeah. one, yeah. Uh, nuisance house is being taken care of. Uh, the uh, 3.36 soliciting section E had been taken care of by the council in 2022. And let me see. Um, I'm going to ask somebody the historic districts. Uh, I'm going to ask to somebody to contact Nate Malloy about this. And yeah, Nate staffs the, the historical commission. And yeah, and I think he would know whether it was done because we, here we're trying to just simply align the language, the difference between alternate and associates. So, Jennifer, you don't mind doing that? Uh, no, I'm happy to do that. Okay, thank you very much. Um, okay, no action is needed on the zero energy. Uh, and the, that's it, because the rest of them are bylaws where we're waiting, waiting for information from either DEI director or things. There's a couple where there's no action needed. Um, 
and those are the personnel bylaw 2.4 about library employees, that section. 3.7 licenses and permits. Could you, could you scroll down, please, Athena? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, 2.4, we don't yeah. need action on that. And we don't need any action on 3.7. Mm -hmm. um, that was reviewed by KP Law and found to be fine. Everything else um, is already been taken care of. The parades and public meetings, that would be repealed on Monday by consent agenda, I believe, because it's been integrated. So I don't think we have anything to do there. And without information, updated information, um, I really don't see what we can do right now. So here's my question. Do, yeah. do, do we want to put whatever's on here uh, that requires action on the agenda on the 17th of June of July? Including what we need action from town staff from? Yeah. I can, I can do that. I think, I mean, I think we have room on the July agenda, the July 17th agenda to do a quick uh, review on that. And if we have actions, we can take them. But it isn't the complete set I'd hoped it would be. But Mandy Joe, you have your hand up. What do you mean it's not the complete set? You well, we don't have we don't know what else we were going to act on. I we think still... anything we as a committee made a recommendation on, whether that be the changes like the the um, mm -hmm. repeal of parades and all, and snow and ice, I think we're done with. Or did we yeah, vote we on are. it? Um, um, all of that that we've been working on that's sort of in the first half of this, I think can go on an agenda on July 17th, but the manager stuff, we've already told the manager to work on stuff. We've yeah. all, so, so it's, yeah. it's all, there's nothing to do until he comes back. And so I would just, we should keep the list so that GOL can keep up and, you know, keep tracking yeah, exactly. it but until he comes back with the proposed actual proposed changes those are likely to go to various committees not just gol depending on which right item it is but there i don't think there's any action for council to take or discuss at this time on those okay. so can you just go back to the first set of boxes okay no action so mandy you just said that the only one that needs council action at this time is 3.23 3.23. Yeah, the peaking. And, and then the the um the parades Indian. is already on the agenda. Which one? Parades, parades. parades and public meetings. Yeah, yeah, that's already, it's already on. on the agenda for second reading and vote, I think. Yes, but so I think the, that's it. So the other ones from that we need input from Nate and Carol, those aren't going on the council agenda for Monday, right? Not unless it's done before Friday. Well, GOL hasn't yeah. fin finished with them. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. I have a suggestion. Do you have you looked at this pat in a way that you would see where to insert the state law? Uh, I haven't. Re no, but I, I no, I haven't. I mean, there is a section on the care of dogs and other animals, and it obviously would need to go in there. But I ha don't have it in front of me. No. Right. Okay, fine. I was going to suggest we could um, approve it pending review with her, but let's not do that. Yeah. No, I'd rather you know. So basically we're gonna carry that. So really the only thing that we're bringing to the council is the peaking and clearing. Right, but uh, in it, the agenda- in the um, historic district, if you know, Jennifer can get that to us quickly, we could add it. Uh, uh, we, have, we could make a motion to, if it's been aligned. I can, you know, get in touch with Nate this morning. I mean, but do we have to, let me Does see. It have to come back to us before it goes to the council. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, Mandy. Yeah. Yeah. I would say a report can talk about everything um, in this first group that just says yeah. 3.7 was reviewed by KP Law. GOL yeah. recommends no action, right? Um, Special Appeals Board, GOL, it repealed and replaced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was already done, you know? <laughs> Things like that. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I can take. Yeah, care and of that. and Jennifer, if you can just get the language from Nate, or or look at the two to see, in terms of historic district and ZBA, I think it's just a, they refer to one as like associate and one is like, it's some other. 
reference right. to so that was where I said I was never aware of an associate on the I don't think board. anyone's ever been appointed the planning right. board actually has it in their charge too um right. <laughs> so, sure. but we've never done anything with it um CBA is the only one we do because the law was a lot stricter on um right. who if could you're not at the hearing you have to be through a full application yeah. right yeah, and in a certain way, this is very nitpicky on the part of the members, the lawyer members of the um, bylaw review committee. Um, I don't think that the disparity in language has caused any problems, but um, uh, like Athena. Um, so, if so, you're saying the committee is not going to look at those before reporting back to the council on suggested language well if jennifer gets it to me the, the thing is no, okay jennifer jennifer might reach out and you might reach out to carol and nate but it's july and folks might not be able to get back i don't know how what their workload is yeah, like yeah. but yeah, yeah. um there i i don't know that we'll have i mean technically gol is supposed to submit a report to the council today or tomorrow. So I don't know if that's tomorrow, enough time. I can't do it today, but I will have it tomorrow. So I'm just I... concerned that that's enough time for the council to, yeah. for that to be included in the report for the council meeting on Monday. Okay. I mean, there's no rush if it had to be the next council meeting. Right, there isn't. And basically I'll just do, you know, the, just do the general report. Here's where we are, this is what we looked at. These are still open. And here, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so my suggestion would be to bring those back on the next GOL agenda so that our staff- Yeah, it's time. already on there because I didn't know, yeah. <clears throat> That's okay. So thank, can thank I you. ask, so given that, should we then wait until the next council meeting after the 17th? Oh, that's, and bring, that's, and bring that's the my suggestion. Yes. Oh, so okay, bring all. everything. So wait yes. until we- right. Right. At least bring everything of ours. If you know, I don't think everything gonna... in the first set of boxes. Okay. So I'll may I'll do the report and I will get it to you, Athena, or to Angela by noon tomorrow. If I can do it today, I will. But I have. It's not going to be in this agenda, Pat. So yeah. Um, so you have time. You have time. Okay. You well, don't have yeah. to do it for this okay. agenda. But yeah. G -O -L time, when is the G O L general memo due? For if, this council meeting, not th with this material, but so GOL hasn't finished reviewing the bylaws, so, so you don't, don't need to report. You don't need to report on those until GOL is ready to bring them that. all. If you're going to bring them all, so yeah, I know that. But I reports yeah. are due the Wednesday before a council meeting, but okay. but you're not you're not expected yeah. to do that today or tomorrow because yep. you're not bringing them to the council meeting on this. Yeah, no, time. I got that about okay. this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you both, uh, Lynn and Athena. I just, yeah, I was trying to figure out whether I should still be doing some kind of so, general memo. If you want to do a very short memo on the changes to the policy regarding control and regulation, but I mean, it's really minor changes. So yeah, no, I'm think... not going to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, if, unless there is anything else that anyone bring wants to bring up that's either unanticipated or that feels crucial to them, we are done for today. So can I, before we finish, Lynn, go ahead. Uh, we're going to meet on the 19th, okay? Yep. Right? And then mm -hmm. when is our next meeting after that? Uh, I think it's August 7th. August, oh, August 2nd. 2nd, okay, yeah. And on that one, hopefully, we will be looking, begin to go back to rules of procedure. Oh, uh, if it's okay, Pat, I wanted to just mention that I had um, a couple of minor suggestions for rules of procedure that I was going to ask you all. Yes, no, you consider said I already broke, I already uh, mentioned that to Pat, but it's a couple of really minor things. One of them is um, asking GOL to consider. Um, letting the council clerk and town manager raise a point of order just so I, you know i feel like i'm always interrupting when um those things come up and uh, other uh legislative bodies do that so i thought it might be appropriate there might be one or two other minor minor things yeah just send the that committee's to willing to consider those yeah. yeah send those to me because i think everybody here would like to know have those yeah um, 
take that information from you. We'll take. So this is what I'm hearing. Uh, is that we're going to have any follow up on the on the bylaw stuff that's in the top boxes, mm-hmm. and if there's any follow up on the lower portion, possibly. The second thing I'm hearing for the 19th is we'll be de- de- we're looking at the zoning amendments for clarity, consistency, and actionability, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And the third thing we may be looking at is the issue of our rules of procedure. That's a lot. Well, I, I did not put, the, I made the decision not to put rules and procedure on the 19th. I think the whole meeting is going to be taken up. Uh, with the zoning amendment and follow up on this. So what I've done is uh, started the August 2nd packet and it's in there. Mandy? Um, That all sounds fine. I'm curious about the safe access bylaw. Oh, I've forgotten. I know know Anna and I owe you, Pat, as chair, a new draft. Um, yes, but we're do. almost done with that. So which which meeting would you like us to get that draft to you for? My feeling is probably um, as much as I would like it to be immediately, <laughs> I believe that it probably needs to go on the August 2nd agenda. Okay. And then I, I'm going to have to judge based on what's on August, if we have the meeting on August 7th and what's on August 21st. Uh, as to which one it goes on, just because we're we're stacking things up at this point. That's what I'm. That's the only reason. What I'm, goes on? Which I'm, I, I know that if we meet on the seventh, that are you talking about the safe access? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. I just Any want to other, clarify what what things we're going to be on. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. The 19th and what things would be on the second. second. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, Lynn. I really do. Um, anything else? Okay. No. Uh, Athena, can you and I uh, end? Do you want to end this meeting and then we'll start a new meeting? I can't hear you, honey. I'll send you a link for a new meeting so we can Thanks. end this recording. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to move that we adjourn this meeting at, I can't see what time it is, but. but Declare, don't move, declare. Declare, (laughs) I declare this meeting adjourned with all my power and might. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. Best meeting ever. (laughs) Take care. Thanks. And Jennifer, thank you for getting in touch with Nate. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah, thanks for a short meeting. (laughs) Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. (laughs)